Here, we have an architectural model of a building shell modelled in Revit. We can see by interrogating the survey point that the model has been geo-referenced. The model also has a rotation from True North that we must be aware of. Before we begin importing our model into InfraWorks, we must ensure that the latest Revit model has been uploaded to BIM360. We do this by going to the Collaborate tab on the ribbon and selecting Manage Cloud Models. We then need to navigate to our project location and verify the latest model has been uploaded by checking it has a green tick by the file. Now that we're happy with our settings in Revit, it is time to import the model into InfraWorks. We do this by going to Data Sources and selecting Autodesk Revit from the drop-down menu. Here we simply navigate to our .rvt file. This will then activate the import process. The time it takes to import will be dependent on the Revit model's complexity and file size. Once the Revit model has been imported, we must now configure the model settings. First, we need to identify our coordinate system. I'm going to use XY-IFT. We then need to input the coordinates, elevations and rotation as per our Revit survey point coordinates. Finally, we can also check in the Data Source Configuration dialog box what the imported model actually looks like and verify it meets our expectations. Once happy, we can click on Close and Refresh at the bottom. We can now see our Revit file in our InfraWorks model correctly geographically referenced.